Mitt, I don't want to hold your feet to the fire here. We touched on the income tax code last time around, and you made a salient point that an individual who is a high-income earner and does have a lot of write-offs will wind up probably paying far less than, I hate to use a Clinton term here, their fair share uh, in taxes. Um my question is: I'm a former, land, I'm a landlord in recovery, so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> when you when you have a full portfolio of rental property, I actually paid negative tax in the year 2000 um, because of all the depreciation and whatnot. But it, it gets back to how complicated the code is and how patently unfair it can be. I just wanted to throw something at you. You don't have to commit to anything, but just stick this in the back of your mind next time you're on an airplane tossing things around. Uh, the fair tax plan you and I talked about, I think that is undoable. You can't have these prebate checks going out every month to a bunch of people. The cost to administer that would be crazy. And the, fr- and the fraud would be quite interesting. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and we all know there is an underground economy here, and, and people do work mano a mano with cash. The question I have, though, uh, Von Mises has looked at this. Cato has looked at this. Another one that's been on the table called the one tax it's a VAT. It is a VAT tax, and there's no getting around it. But rather than a high rate of 23%, Americans generally don't look at things. They don't look at their paycheck stubs. They don't know what they're paying in Medicare tax withholding. They don't look at anything. So why not a 1% tax on all goods and services with no exemptions at all levels? It's a VAT. But by getting rid of the income tax, I just envision this country with a bunch of workers with one-third more money in their pocket every two weeks I think the economy would go crazy. You might have some inflation temporarily because of overheating, but I think it would be unbelievable. The idea is pay 1% tax and no more? 1% at all levels on all goods and services, mit with no exemptions. You put the lobbyists well, out of business. But, well, yeah, yeah, but you'd, put, you'd, you'd have to close down our military too, right? I mean, you, you, no. you, you need... Well, you're, at, you're, at all levels with no exemptions. You buy a house, buy a $100,000 house, it's $1,000. You well, go to the doctor for 100 bucks. You, be, you don't begin to raise enough money, Mark. Uh, to, in, 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 actually, no, based I'm all, on M1. I'm all, I'm all in favor, I mean, I'm all in favor of, um, uh, of getting rid of the, the, uh, uh, the, the unfair uh, complication in our tax code. I'm, just and saying, I'm all in favor of cutting back on government. Cato's but, looked at it, Bob Mises has looked at it. Sixty percent right? of spending is on care for the elderly. Uh, it's Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. That's sixty percent. Sure. And then, and then the next fifteen uh, percent, or excuse me, next twenty percent is is our military. So eighty percent is care for the elderly and, and the military. And you you, you, can, you can't cut them back that much. <laughs> as a matter of fact, you're probably going to see some expansion as people retire. So uh, I'll take a look at the pl- I'll take a look at the plan. But well, you know, it's based I, on I, M1. I must admit, my experience is there, there's if something sounds too good to be true, it most likely is. Well, it's actually based on M1. And if you look at M1, the money in circulation, the money in people's pockets and checking accounts, the money that changes hands on a daily basis, and we're talking from raw materials to manufacturing to warehousing to distribution, at every level you're collecting that 1%. Just think about it. And, and again, Cato's looked at it, Von Mises looked at it, and, and remember what Ron Paul said when you guys were laughing at him. If you got rid of the income tax, you will have the same amount of public revenue coming in that we had 10 years ago. And if you replace it with that 1%. Now, what, now Mark... Mark, now think think for a second. Do you think that our, our our obligations to our seniors, given the growing population and the size of our military, is larger than it was 10 years ago? Absolutely. However, if you quit taxing Social Security, the idea that you have to pay income tax on a Social Security check is not only redundant, it is, it's insane. The, isn't it? Well, there's very little income that comes from that. It doesn't, it doesn't generate but, any but it, income but at all. But it's, it's egregious that you have someone out there actually paying income tax on money they've already contributed as taxes. Hey Mark, we're having fun, but I got to run. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> I've know. Got the, one the, more show I got to do. Here. I know the heat. But the I, heat's on you, when it's, a, I it's an interesting idea. But I got to tell you, I think everybody in America would say, "Gosh, a one percent tax." I'm, I'm all in favor of that. But, but make don't it forget, two. Don't forget. <laughs> don't forget. We have to have a military that can protect us, and we have to care for our seniors. And we, uh, we, we I want to cut back on spending, but I, but I'm not planning on cutting back to a one percent tax. All right, you you call Cato and check it out. <laughs> Okay, Don't Mark. laugh, Mitt. You're laughing at Ron Paul, too, and you know he's I right. I sure am laughing at Ron Paul. i got to tell you, anybody who says we've got to get rid of the CIA and the FBI and that the reason that we're attacked by jihadists is because of, of us is a guy who deserves a, a little bit of humor to, to come his way. Keep, keep laughing. Thanks, uh, Mitt. Talk to you later. Thanks. All right. Right there, he just lost my vote, Dan. He just lost my vote. He, uh, he quoted uh, Ron Paul out of school. He's chuckling about it. It's not funny. It is absolutely not funny. I got 4,000 dead soldiers, American soldiers, because of Iraq, which was ill-conceived. 
The premise was wrong. They lied. I got 4,000 dead soldiers. I got over 20,000 injured coming back. I got a trillion dollars blown on that debacle, and he's laughing about it. You just lost my vote, Governor. You just lost it. And you notice when I put the pressure on, he had to run, just like Jon Snow did. Folks, you're going to have an income tax until you croak. You can buy all the Bortz books you want. It's going to be there because of a-holes like Mitt Romney. Done. Let's get to the news. 748 News Talk AM 1040 WWBA. Okay, right there, Mitt Romney. Look, see, there's a guy who already has his millions. And don't get me wrong, I love rich people, okay? Uh, This isn't a class warfare thing. This is not Clintonian. I love rich people because rich people turn the wheels and they're the ones that provide the jobs. But there's a guy, an elitist screwball right there, who has his millions, who could care less if the tax rate went to 40%. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. And he's laughing at Ron Paul again this morning. Well, he wants to get rid of the CIA. Hell yes, get rid of the CIA. What does the CIA do? They go out and do cloak and dagger crap ahead of the military and lay the groundwork, so roll it into the military. Get rid of another ABC agency. My God. And, you know, this, this nervous chuckling and, uh, and mocking of a guy who speaks the truth, the man who told you the truth more than any other in those debates who wasn't afraid to make enemies and tell the truth was Ron Paul. And they laughed at him. Well, he deserves to be laughed at. No, Mitt Romney, you deserve to be laughed at. You elitist... Oh, I can't use the word. You know, it drives me nuts. And I think the Cato Institute is a pretty viable organization, and they've been crunching numbers for years. And Von Mises, I know, sometimes can be on the edge, but they've crunched him too. And when you look at the amount of money that changes hands on a daily basis in this country, especially when the economy is booming, and you tax it at 1% at all levels with no exemptions, guess what? You're going to generate a ton of revenue, and especially if you let people keep one-third more of their paychecks, or 25% more, they're going to blow it. They spend it, especially people at the lower income strata. They're going to spend their money, and that's all taxed at 1%, all of it. Doctor's appointments, groceries, homes, uh, you name it, everything paving company they're paying for the asphalt they're paying for their paint all of its one percent everything at all levels no exemptions the lobbyists are out of business and Mitt Romney laughs Mitt Romney you lost my vote today I was real close to giving it to you out of frustration very close and you know what after hearing him chuckle like that I'm going straight to that voting booth this morning and I'm gonna vote for Ron Paul I know it ain't gonna matter I know Ron Paul ain't gonna be president but I've had it with these elitist F's I've had it with these guys it doesn't matter who you vote for Vote for Barack Obama, Hillary, Mitt Romney, John McCain. They're all on the same page, man. Every damned one of them. Every one of them. They will not change the tax code because it's control. It's total control. And Mitt Romney's one of them. And McCain's one of them. 